That's been one of my mantras, focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex, you have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. But it's worth it in the end because once you get there, you can move mountains. Business Week, May 25, 1998, Steve Jobs You know who the best managers are? They're the great individual contributors, who never ever want to be a manager, but decide they have to be manager because no one else is going to be able to do as good a job as them. Steve Jobs Unfortunately his Zen training never quite produced in him a Zen like calm or inner serenity, and that too is part of his legacy. He was often tightly coiled and impatient, traits he made no effort to hide. Most people have a regulator between their mind and mouth that modulates their brutish sentiments and spikiest impulses. Not Jobs. He made a point of being brutally honest. My job is to say when something sucks rather than sugarcoat it, he said. This made him charismatic and inspiring, yet also, to use the technical term, an asshole at times. Walter Isaacson, Steve Jobs Apple at the core, its core value, is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better, and that those people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who actually do. Steve Jobs The unions are the worst thing that ever happened to education because it's not a meritocracy. It turns into a bureaucracy, which is exactly what has happened. The teachers can't teach and administrators run the place and nobody can be fired. It's terrible. Steve Jobs This intensity encouraged a binary view of the world. Colleagues referred to the hero-slash-shithead dichotomy. You were either one or the other, sometimes on the same day. The same was true of products, ideas, even good, something was either the best thing ever or it was shitty, brain-dead, inedible. As a result, any perceived flaw could set off a rant. The finish on a piece of metal, the curve at the head of a screw, the shade of blue on a box, the intuitiveness of a navigation screen, he would declare them to completely suck until that moment when he suddenly pronounced them absolutely perfect. He thought of himself as an artist, which he was, and he indulged in the temperament of one. Walter Isaacson, Steve Jobs